Item Number SCP-ES-254 Object Class Safe Special Containment Protocols SCP-ES-254 is currently contained within a facade that is visibly represented as a store for sale and purchase. It operates regularly for the public, and employs exclusively Foundation staff for periods no longer than six months. Each weekend, a basic charitable activity protocol is to be carried out, whereby staff will be responsible for distributing various supplies of fish and seafood to the population of Norway. If it is impossible to carry out the protocol, it will be postponed until appropriate conditions are met. SCP-ES-254 is an ice fishing hole located in the city of Norway. Whenever an individual attempts to fish inside SCP-ES-254, a random, non-anomalous marine species will take the bait within an interval of three to five minutes. This occurs universally, regardless of climatic variables and specific fishing seasons. Several studies have been carried out to thoroughly inspect specimens from SCP-ES-254, and they have no differences in any aspect from those a normal specimen would have when fished. To date, the following species have been identified. Salmon, Atlantic, Sockeye, Humpback, Chinook, Coho, Koi Carp, Kohaku, Sanke, Showa, Silverside, Cornelitos, Tuna, Yellowfin, Longfin, Big Eye, Skipjack, Cod, Pacific, Atlantic, Polak, Octopuses, Squids, Mussels. To see the complete catalog of fish species, refer to List 328-27.032 at Site Omega-7. Discovery History Initial records of SCP-ES-254 date back to 1932. The area was originally occupied by a group of farmers and fishermen who accidentally stumbled upon the site while looking for a suitable place to fish. Noticing the anomalous effects of SCP-ES-254, they used it to generate profits within a limited market. However, this lasted only a brief time, due to a quick intervention by Foundation agents near the area. The merchants were amnesticized and transferred to a nearby location. Later on, a proposal issued by agents working in the area, alongside the neighboring economics department, was accepted. This proposal envisioned the creation of a retail store for fishing and hunting supplies, as well as the commercialization of SCP-ES-254 instances determined to be safe. Eventually, activities were planned to give away a certain amount of fish to the local population in an attempt to generate goodwill within the community, something that was well accepted by civilians. Nowadays, SCP-ES-254 is under the facade of a store. It is considerably successful, and is constantly being renovated by the Foundation to keep it up and running. Norway, January 14, 1940 Are you laughing at me? Site Omega-7's director abruptly turned around, while replying sternly. The young researcher, to whom he was speaking, merely gave him a silence as he thought carefully his next words. Director, I understand that this may sound crazy, but just hear me out. The samples taken by the marine research team came back positive. There is nothing unusual about the fish coming out of there. Excuse me, researcher, but if you think I'm naive enough to eat something that came out of a magic hole, then you're not as smart as I expected you to be. The bearded, gray-haired director began to walk toward the door of the room, but was interrupted by a last attempt from the young researcher. Direct, fill off, please. I am an adult and I'm aware of the actions that led me here. The cold is striking the population, and food supplies are slowly becoming scarce. This may be a temporary solution to a world crisis. We have just entered a very difficult war, but we could be a little less hard on ourselves and try to get out of this ship by being a little more humane." Elof stopped in front of the large door he was facing, and succumbed to silence. Friday would be your goodbye dinner from Site Omega. Allow me to give you one last meal. In any case, I will take responsibility for the situation if anything goes wrong. Just 
let me give it a try. A few seconds passed before the room was occupied only by the presence of the young researcher. Translator's Note The post-it says, Thank you for the meal. It was delicious. Iloth. Thank you.